Welcome to Farm RPG. Bellogan here. Today we're talking about updates that are coming out of beta testing and going live on Tuesday, the 6th of July, 2021. Specifically, that is going to be the steak kebabs market and the storehouse. So the storehouse works exactly like the farmhouse, um, except that it's for your inventory instead of your stamina. Uh, it costs three million to buy, and then there will be an upgrade in the flea market. Uh, or the farm supply store that that uh, doubles its efficiency and every day when you work in it it increases your inventory capacity by one so that is the storehouse and if i come back to kebabs um, we're going to spend a little more time talking about this so kebabs are part of the steak market so we get to those by going to town and then coming down to the steak market so at the top we have our steaks of we've had for a while Currently, we are in a stable state, and these go through stable, unstable, risky, and wild. There is a history for all stake prices since they really started back on the 11th of May to tell you what the price was, what the condition was, stable, unstable, risky, wild, so forth, and then the volume, how many bought and sold. Uh, so on this day, when it was down low to 41, we had a ton bought, and then at some point later, I think we had another huge record-breaking day for sales, um, 59K there. 45 is a bunch of buys, 59 a bunch of buys. Um, here wild, we had a ton <laughs> as well. As you can see, it's it's fairly volatile. So the stake market price changes daily at server reset, which is at midnight Eastern, and, or not Eastern, but Central Time in the US, and you see that time in the timestamp in chat. Now kebabs are like steak, um, but their average price is about five times lower. So it's a cheaper commodity, and they change hourly. Uh, instead of daily. So every hour this price gets updated. Now there's not a history being kept of this because it would be a lot more data with how frequently uh, kebabs move around and their volume. Um, but there are people who have been keeping price of these and made a spreadsheet available. I may put a link to that in my comments. I don't know how long that particular one will be maintained but um, there's a, a couple floating around where you can keep track of it yourself. Just remember how much you bought it for. If you're on your phone take a screenshot of when you bought it and so forth. Now on kebabs, it tells you how many you currently own. So I'm at 1,200. Got a little bit higher inventory than the last time I did a video for what my cap is. Um, and it tells me the current value. And I actually just bought these at the 9.9k silver range. Um, my stakes, I don't have any. I sold them today for 50.4k. Now an important thing to note, actually I actually have one stake. Um, when you buy any of these commodities, you physically get them and they show up in your inventory. So if I come to my inventory and scroll down here, you can look at my steaks. I've got one and my kebabs, I've got 1,200. That means that you cannot buy more than your inventory limit. Um, if you try to go over that, it won't let you do it. I'll come back. Let me go ahead and just sell the steak because I don't really want to hold on to one steak today. Goodbye. All right. So let's talk about strategies of when to buy and when to sell steaks and kebabs. And this has changed a little bit with the caps that were put in place from the economic overhaul, specifically based on the bank with the cap now at 5 million. If you haven't hit the cap yet, you want to look at this a little bit differently than if you have. So let's talk about that. I'm going to come over to my spreadsheets. Lovely, lovely spreadsheets. And we have an analysis here showing stake price uh, since the history was, has been kept on, on stakes. Sorry, this is my kebab. Let me come back to my steak tab, then we'll go to kebabs. All right, so steaks. Here's my steak price <laughs> with dates since history has been kept. So you can see on the graph of the timeline when the price uh, is stable, it doesn't shift a whole lot. When it goes unstable, there's a little bit more movement, and then it gets risky and wild. There could be pretty massive jumps in price. The average price with all history right now is uh, 49.6K with a high of 72.6K and a low of 32K for stake prices. All right, so when to buy. Typically, I just buy whenever it is lower than 49K and I sell when it's over. That's just my rule of thumb. It's an easy way to do it. Um, but you want to make sure you're buying at the bottom of a falling time and, and selling on a rising edge. Uh, if we look at the timeline here. Now, if you have hit your bank cap, you can put your money in, buy whatever price you're on, and, and kind of wait until it sells. Um, if you wait too long, so say I bought right here on this first edge, and then I missed this peak and had to wait later till the next peak, 
Um, I'll still make money on that purchase, although I've lost some potential revenue because I could have sold here on this peak, bought low again, sold again, and gotten more value. So I've had two buying cycles as opposed to one. But if I haven't hit my bank cap, I also have to look at my sell price versus um, whether or not I would have been better off just throwing that silver in the bank. So just a quick analysis of that. Say I bought stakes at 46K. Um, I just did a quick calculation here of how much that money would be worth in the bank if we had left it there. So the second day would be 47.983. What that means is if you wait a day, you need to get this price or higher to perform better than the bank. Now say it goes down, it doesn't go quite that high, you want to wait till the next day, well that goes up to 49.9k for the next day. My canary loves it, you can probably hear him singing in the background. <laughs> All right. So that's second day, third day, by the fourth day it's 51.89k. So eventually it, it does go up pretty quick for what price you would have to sell out to outperform um, the bank. So you want to unload it a little bit faster is my general feeling uh, if you have not hit your cap in the bank yet. So if you have less than 125 million in the bank with 4% interest, um, don't hold on to those too long because you're losing money versus what you could have had had you thrown it in, in the bank. All right, so that is stakes. Let me come back to my Bob tab that I didn't realize I was on. So this is data that is pulled from a user who's been keeping track of kebab prices that change hourly for a couple days. Um, I may put the link to that in the spreadsheet. I don't know how long this will be maintained, but we'll see. Um, with kebabs, you can see the average price is 10.16K, and it is a lot more volatile uh, going up and down. We've had a low of 9.5K and a high of 11.8K on kebab prices. So with kebabs, it's similar to um, steak in that if you wait a couple cycles, say I bought right here and then I missed this peak and had to sell on this peak, well, I missed the opportunity to, to buy low and sell high again, so you missed out on some potential profit. Um, but it changes hourly, so you've got time to wait and see what's going to happen. Um, additionally, you can always sell your kebabs whatever price you're at and throw them in the bank right before server reset if you need to. So having just your money tied up in here uh, during the day doesn't impact the bank at all. You can pull it out so long as you're, you're selling higher than you bought for uh, and make some, some profit on that. So for this, I buy anytime it's in the nines and sell whenever it's in the tens or higher. That's just, just what I do every hour. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. And throughout the day, depending on your inventory, let's say you make 300 silver. I don't trust my head to do the math. It's 300 silver per kebab. And let's say you had a base uh, inventory of 200. So we've got, um, you guys are going to laugh at me because I'm not doing this in my head. It's like, you're an engineer, Bell, again, you should be able to do this. Yeah, I probably should. All right, so 60K is what that was. Silver, uh, if you had 200 of these that you bought and sold, so you'd make a 60K profit. So if you can do that a couple times during the day, you can make a couple hundred thousand profit pretty easily. Um, so the larger your inventory, uh, the more you can buy and sell. So for me, when I'm buying 1,200, it's generally about 10 to 12 million uh, silver I have tied up in this going up and down. And um, the last couple of days, just watching it with buying and selling four or five times, I've been able to make you know, between three and five million silver uh, off this per day. So it's, uh, it's an active thing to do. And you got to keep your eye on it, watch the prices. And you have to remember what you bought and sold for because it doesn't do that for you. Uh, but there's a potential profit there to be made during the day. All right, last thing I wanted to cover really quick in my Belgo Tester Custom Chat, uh, user Maddox asks, has anyone captured the cost from one to 1,000 silver for the sawmill? I'm gonna show you really quick how I calculate how much upgrades are gonna cost. You can do this in a spreadsheet, um, which is how I used to do this, but I've got an easier way to do it now. I'm just gonna come to the library and farming and farm upgrades, building upgrades. And we're just gonna look at this incremental cost for sawmill, the 750. So I could come into a spreadsheet and just put 750 here, make my next cell equal to this plus 750, and then populate this down for however long I wanted to. And then I would just need to do a summation of this to figure it out. So it would be like if I was going from 0 to 100, it would be summation from cell 1 to 100. Or if I was already at 50, I would do from 50 to 100, for example. That's one way to do it. The other way is I like this online integration calculator. Um, and basically this takes an integral of a function and tells you its value with bounds that you set. 
Um, for those that may not be familiar with, with integrals, basically it's calculating the area under a curve um, or is essentially summing up what we were doing with our cells here where we have all of the, the prices. So I just did a quick Google search one day for an online integration calculator and found this website that is fantastic. I use it on my phone a lot. It's integral-calculator.com. So what we do in here, we put in our function for the sawmill. So the, the uh, first upgrade in the incremental cost is 750. So we do a base 750 plus 750x, and the x is the number um, of boards or upgrades or whatever it is, or trees or trout or chickens that you want to buy. And then we've got these two boxes here over your integral that are your bounds. So you put in on the bottom how many you currently have, so we'll say zero, and how many you want to have, we'll say 100, and hit go, and you let that calculate. And it's going to come through and do the math and show you the formulas. And then down here under the definite integral, it tells you exactly how much it is. So for 100 boards, if you don't have any, it's 3.825 million. Just going to put that in chat. And there we go. That tells you exactly how much. Now say we're further along, say, you know what, I've already got a lot of boards. Um, we'll say we're Bellog and Sawmill. I've got 800 and I want to figure out how to get my max to 1,200 every hour. What's that gonna cost me? So I put in 800 is what I currently have, 1,200 what I'm looking at, which I will never do this, by the way. I say, we'll see, <laughs> I'm not planning on it. 800 is too much to keep up with already. And here's our value. So that would cost me 300.3 million silver. Um, to upgrade to 1200 boards per hour. Could I do that? Absolutely, I could do it. I've got the money in the bank, but uh, that would take a very, very long time uh, to to get that back out <laughs> with that many boards. And we're talking like a month or two until um, I get that money back out from those boards. So probably won't do that upgrade. But this works for any of the, the things that you're looking at. So say I wasn't talking about that. Say I was looking at um, my orchard at trees that are 1,000 and 1,000 X. Uh, I can come throw these in here. 1000 plus 1000 X. I can do these in either order. And I'm saying, you know what, I've got 200 trees right now, but I want to go up to the cap of 500 trees. How much is that going to cost me? Hit that. Here we go. Scroll down to the definite integral right here, and it's going to cost me 105.3 million to go from 200 trees up to 500 trees. So, pretty good investment. Uh, but that's, uh, that's the way I calculate these. So a lot of times my videos, you'll just see me already have these numbers pulled out. This is where I'm grabbing them from. It's pretty easy to do. Um, I know not everybody that plays has gone through calculus in high school or college, and so maybe aren't familiar with integrals. Uh, but that's basically the way it works. You put in your initial cost plus your incremental cost times X, and then you put in how many you currently have, how many you want to have, hit go, scroll down. It'll tell you right here how much that's going to cost you. All right, there we go. That is the Steak Kebab Markets Integral Calculators answering user Maddox's questions and the Storehouse. Hopefully you'll find these upgrades fun and engaging uh, when they come out tomorrow. Thanks for watching.